There was a student who told his ustad that you have taught us that this Quran is a diamond and it has great value. Wherever we who know the Quran go, they treat us like rubbish. A'udhu billah. You see the Mawlana, the Sheikh, the Imam, the Hafiz in the community. How does the community treat that person? That is how much barakah and blessings there will be in that community. So this young student asks his ustad, he says, You told us the Quran has the most value ever. Why is it that wherever we go, we find people treating us badly? When we tell them Allah said this, this is haram, this is halal, don't do this and do this and don't dress like this and don't be found in this company and don't do this type of business dealing. Why is it that they don't even value us? This ustad was very intelligent. He gave this young boy a stone, a dirty stone and told him, oh my student, take this stone. Take the stone and go to the marketplace. Ask its value from the cobbler. You know, the cobbler is the one who mends shoes. And don't sell it to him, but ask him, how much are you prepared to pay for the stone? Hear what he says. After that, go to the butcher and ask the butcher, how much are you prepared to pay for the stone? Don't sell it to him, but hear what he says. And after that, go to the carpenter. Don't sell it to him. Ask him, how much are you prepared to pay for the stone? And finally, when you're done with everything, go to the jeweler and ask him the same question. But don't sell it. Bring it back to me. He went to the cobbler. He says, I'm selling a stone. The cobbler looked at him and says, whole day I see hundreds of these stones. I'm not interested in buying it. He said, please, I want to sell the stone. He says, okay, I'll give you $5 for this. $5 is approximately how many rands? How many? I see ikhtalafa fihi ulama There's a dispute here. But whatever it is, maybe the rand is fluctuating as we speak. May Allah grant us ease. Anyway, so five dollars. He said, okay, no problem. I'm not selling it. Let's see. He went from there to where? To the butcher. He says to the butcher, I'm selling the stone. The butcher says, I'm not interested in buying it. I don't buy stones. I don't buy dirt. I don't buy rubbish. So he said, what do you mean? Make an offer. He said, no, you leave it here. Free, if you want, I'll throw it away for you. Did you hear that? From there, he went to the carpenter. The carpenter says, if you want me to take this stone, you pay me $5. How's that? I'll get rid of it for you. If it's giving you a bit of an irritation. This young student shook his head and he says, you know what? I don't even know what's going on here. I don't understand. What is the whole wisdom behind what my ustad has told me? Anyway, quietly, half the day was over. It was hot. He decided, let me go to the jeweler. That was my last part of the errand. And it's almost lunchtime. And I'm also a little bit hungry and so on. He entered the jewelers and he asked them, listen, I'm selling the, selling the stone. How much are you prepared to offer? That's a dirty stone full of mud and whatever else. And the jewelers looked at it. They, they, they shined it a little bit and they went to call the boss, the man at the back. Please come forward. They came, he shined it a bit more, looked at it with a bit of a, you know, this little magnifying glass they have. Looked at the young boy, he said, where did you get this from? He says, no, I'm selling it on behalf of someone. He says, who is it? He says, I can't tell you, but I'm selling it. He says, listen, are you sure? He says, yes. We've never seen such a stone before. It's lunchtime. We're supposed to close, but no problem. We lock these doors so that no one comes in. Let's do a little bit of research here. Let's try and check. They checked the stone. They shined it. It turned out to be a diamond, a very, very expensive diamond. 
They told us, man, we're offering you $50,000 for this thing. He was shocked, man. He was shocked. He says, you're offering me so much. Are you sure? He says, not only that, if you don't want to sell it to us, we are going to put it in a case for you with a lock and we are going to send two armed guards with you walking out of this store because it's not safe with what you have. It's not safe. He said, what do you mean? The owner says, listen, I'm the owner here. I've been dealing in stones for so many years. This is a rare gem. Rare gem. He said, no, no, no. Let me come back. Let me go and see who the, the owner is and tell him. They said, we won't allow you to leave here. It's dangerous. They sent him. This Ustad is sitting back there. And he sees this man coming with a big red box. And there's two people walking next to him. And he came in. His Ustad made him sit down. He says, you see, I knew this was going to happen. You are telling me that the people are not valuing the Quran. When we said the Quran is like a diamond. Look, I gave you a real diamond. No one values it unless... He is someone who knows it. Indeed, a virtue in someone is only known by another who has a similar virtue. Alhamdulillah. We are happy to announce the launch of the One Islam TV app. Watch hundreds of high quality produced Islamic reminders, Quran learning videos, stories of the prophets, and so much more. Two new videos uploaded daily, insha'Allah. Watch videos on demand or download videos and watch offline. No more annoying ads or pop-ups. 100% safe browsing for your peace of mind. Watch or listen to lectures and lessons while you work, rest, or drive with your device switched off. One Islam TV is 100% run and owned by Muslims, which means the small amount you pay for your subscription is a sadaqa jariya, continuous charity for you. As we use the funds raised to continue producing more beneficial videos and reminders, Insha'Allah. The One Islam TV app is now available on Apple devices, Apple TV, Android devices, Android TV, Amazon Fire TV, and Roku. So you can watch on most devices and smart TVs. Download now for a free 7-day trial. May Allah reward you for supporting our work.